Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this? This is Hughes and Cues, a party game from The Op, also known as USAopoly. This is a vibrant game of colorful communication that plays multiple players. How many players does it say we can get up to here? Three to 10 players. Three to 10 players using only one and two word cues. You are trying to get people to guess a color based on a big grin, which is gonna make way more sense once I show it to you when we crack this open for the first time. All right, here you've got my copy of Hughes and Cues that I'm cracking open for the first time. I have not seen inside this box. I have not played this game. What I have done is cut the shrink wrap off and that's it. So we're gonna crack this open. So it says it is for ages eight plus, three to 10 players, 30 minute play time. The main piece here, of course, is gonna be the board, which I probably should have just opened on the other view. <laughs> so here you have the Hughes and Hughes board, at least 90% of it. The only thing you're missing at the bottom is uh, the same numbers repeated. So you have a grid of colors. That's literally it and a score track. This is it for the board. These are the colors people are gonna pick. And every time I look at it, I feel like I have a paint program open. It is a single sided board, six panel and rather large. When's the last time I opened one of these and the rules weren't on top? Then we have the rule book and like all good party games, that's it. This is it, here's your rules. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Then we have a lame trough box insert that doesn't really hold anything in any way. Um, this is the cardboard piece you will assemble to frame your answer on the board. And I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed with this. That is rather thin cardboard. We're gonna actually put this together now because there's not much else to show you. So I don't see why not. So we're gonna put this frame together and I'm gonna toss this piece of cardboard right now. And then I gotta figure out which ones are top. So there we go. You probably want to glue this. It's a little flimsy. I would have liked this to be a little more solid. So what you are going to do with this, let's bring the board back, is once you have determined your color and everyone's voted, you're going to put this on an area and that's how people are going to score. And this does have, I don't know if I assembled it right, if the ones are supposed to be on the inside or outside, it has to do with how many points you're going to get based on where you are. So I think it's two points for being on the inside, one point for the outside. This, this could be better. It's not terrible but it's a little flimsy, wobbles around. I would like something a little bigger cardboard for this. The next thing we have, of course, is a bunch of pylons, literal little, little pylons. Uh, it's not even in Ziploc. So these are just gonna go nuts inside here once I pour them. We're gonna put them into that. So these are all the various player colors. What's gonna happen is someone's gonna say one word and they're gonna say something like fire truck and then players are gonna bet and they're gonna go, I think it's this color, it is M3. And other players are gonna bet, and someone, probably if you use fire truck, is also gonna put it on red, which is on a different part of the board. Then the next player is going to get to say, oh, actually fire truck's cheating. They're gonna to get to say one word first. They're gonna say lemon. And they're gonna be like, ah, or lime, okay. And then they're gonna say fire truck, so now they're allowed to say two words. And you're like, okay, no, now I'm certain, I think we're going for that vermilion color, I'm gonna say here. And then the person who put the things up will put their thing on and you'll get points. And that's pretty much it. So you have little tiny cones. These are plastic. Um, they're, they're obviously plastic ports. They have little divots in them. They stand up straight enough. They work. They're effective. Then, of course, we have colors. And this is it. Uh, you have four colors to pick from. Like, this is one of those, it's a party game that people possibly could have made at home, but no one thought of it until the op put it together. Uh, whoever the designer is, my bad, I didn't look that up ahead of time. So honestly, all you're gonna get here is cards with colors. I don't think they're by difficulty or anything. Uh, there is an advertisement for one of their other games here. A couple of their other games. That's it, a bunch of cards. You're gonna draw a card, you're gonna pick one of these to do it, and then you're gonna say a one word clue. People are gonna place bets. Then you're gonna say a two word clue. People are gonna place bets. Then you're gonna put this thing in the right spot and see how many points everyone scored. That's pretty much the whole game. Um, Scott Brady is the designer of this. So designed by Scott Brady, nice, simple, basic game. Like 
honestly, I don't see what else you could put in here. Uh, the box seems overly large, but I get it because of this board. You want this board to be nice and big and easy for everyone to see. So you are paying this size of the box for this size of a board. I would have appreciated some kind of Ziploc or something to kind of organize this stuff instead of just tossed in here loose. But as a mass market party game, I'm projecting my hobby gamer onto this. I, mass market party games don't tend to come with real box inserts, so fair enough. I can't really complain about that. So that's it. That's what you get. And I guess how to play. Hues and cues. Though you're going to have to figure out the scoring on your own. All right, there you go. What you get in the box for Hues and Cues from the op, a party game. <laughs> We're going to let everything settle. Uh, a party game all about colors. One player is going to draw a card. It's going to have four colors on it. It's going to pick one. They're going to give a one word clue. Everyone else is going to place a bet on the giant board of Hues for what color they think that is that you're trying to guess. Then the clue giver is going to give a two word clue. Everyone then can place a second bet. You then put a little ring thing, this little cardboard thing, where the correct answer is, and depending on where you are in relation to the ring, you'll get points. That's pretty much it. That's the whole game. I gotta say, simple, but it's one of those why didn't I think of it kind of games. And Scott Brady thought of it and got it published before the rest of us did, so congrats, Scott. I am actually really looking forward to this. I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun, especially playing with certain of my friends who are more into colors and panatone and lighting than others. So you get what you get in the box for Hues and Cues from the Op. Again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet. It's Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can visit our website, tabletopbellhop.com. And you can um, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop to get cool, cool bonus content like access to our private Discord server and bonus audio from our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, where we answer your gaming questions. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me for this pretty simple unboxing of Hughes and Cues from the Op. Good day and game on.